Mark's here with Synshop. I'm here working on Project Nomad, which is the project to create a robot using PDP-11 and the frame from an electric wheelchair and merging those together into robotic awesomeness. So I just finished welding up these cage nuts, which go in here like so. And that's basically going to be, uh, be the structural component that takes this PDP-11 chassis and mounts it onto the metal frame we welded up the other day for the robotic chassis. So I'm just about to drill the pilot holes for the much larger holes that are going to be used for the bolts that are going to go through this frame attached to the cage nuts there. square because the, the holes in the building are actually a little oversized for the final hole. The final hole. It's too small. 
small for the space. Looks like my only looks like my only option currently is uh, to use this cordless drill, um, which is a handheld uh, audio um, But of course, the knockout batteries are dead, so I'm gonna go charge them and then drill this later. See if this is even liftable. One more side. Too bad. Side looks like it lines up. Okay.
put a washer on the underside of these, but I'm just doing a test fit right now to see how it goes together. And I'm pretty much just able to hand tighten everything, so that's a good sign. So this gives you an idea of the scale of the robot. Pretty awesome if I must say so myself. So there we go. We test fit our PDP-11, make sure it fits on our uh, chassis we built. It does. Um, I actually put this on backwards. So this is the back, and this down here is the front. But uh, we have to take it off anyway, so it's no big deal. Uh, next step will be working on the electronics to remote control it, getting this cleaned up and painted to get actually the equipment back in the P2P line uh, after we mount it back on here, and we should be good to go. So stay tuned for the next installment of this. Also check us out over at sinshop.org. Subscribe, rate, comment, let us know what you think, and have fun.